Because we've got time today and we're fancy and George is treating me, we have come to McDonald's drive through to get a milkshake. Yes. Hello, we're finished, we managed to get away early. I tell you what, if I'd put my foot down today, I could have been finished hours and hours ago, but um, it wouldn't have looked good, so we've dragged it out. Uh, so, yeah, we're just uh, just going home now. Uh, I've got some good news. Uh, last week I rang about, I rang AA, about George's old phone, to get it unlocked. You know, they said, oh, it'll be eight ninety nine or whatever, yeah, nine ninety nine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's cheaper than what the shops will uh, want to charge. Uh, so they put it through. It said seven to ten days, and I'd not heard anything. So I, I rang up last night, which was eight working days. So I still had a couple of days there. But any news yet? Is that no, the, the, the we've been trying to contact you. Know, no, you haven't. They were, they were saying that we have, they have, you know, but they haven't. Uh, so, I've got a message today, we've been trying to ring you. Uh, a text message, been trying to ring you, please ring this number. So I rang this number, the number they gave, gave all the details. Kept us on kept us on the line for ages, trying to sort it out. Said, so we need the IMEI number. Said, so you don't, I've already given you, I've confirmed it about five times with the advisor. When I give you the, when I put the application in, and everything. I said, if you need it, it's the last Galaxy S2 that was registered on that number. Oh, right, uh, and you know all this, and I got an action number, given that, and uh, after ages, keeping us on hold and all that sort of thing, got a text to him, here's the unlock code, and the lad, there was, because of the problem with the phone lines, couldn't get back to us, so I hung up the call, because I've got what I want, I've got the code. Um, rang us back and says because you've been messed about so much he says I've put a credit on your account and I'm going to cover the cost of the, the charge for you so very good of him thank you very much uh, Mr AA man from Wales I didn't get your name sorry but yep yeah, that's good so got my unlock code for nothing for my phone brilliant fantastico yeah so we're going to be home soon I don't know if Denise is home yet, she's never text, so she, she said she would only be a few hours, so she might even be home before us, but I don't think she is, because she's not replying to any of her texts, and Georgia's playing a game on her phone, <laughs> so yeah, we'll get home, then I might get the coffee or something on and relax, relax for the night, so. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll catch you guys a little, a little bit. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, pretty random shot that you've seen just before. That was, um, well, you saw what it was, you know. <laughs> she doesn't know yet. <laughs> so, nope. I'm not going to tell her where we went. Um, yeah, so we didn't, haven't done any recording today just been that, that busy really to, to be honest so this is pretty much it for today so i do apologize about it being quite a boring one but somebody's been out having a good time at, the, at the baby shower yeah, yeah. Oh, it was lovely she got a lovely surprise because she didn't know anything about it so when she turned up and seen all her friends and family and uh she just she loved it and she looked gorgeous did you see the tears? No, no, she didn't, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was the cat just grabbing onto the air handle there, trying to pull it down. Franklin trying to attack the the the, <laughs> the, the selfie stick. <laughs> it's not a selfie stick, love, are you? Uh, no. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it was lovely. Um, food was amazing. Um, I've got... 
couple of photographs that I don't know if you can put on. I'll, yeah, I'll end. try. Yeah, yeah. That, um, well, I might stick them in the middle about here. Um, really, really nice. Would really recommend um the Malinese on Hotel on the Quayside. But um, I don't know what what you class it as. Do you say afternoon tea or? Oh, I don't know. Something, something like that. But Give me a shower, basically. Really nice, and got this lovely. I'll read it to you first, then I'll try and show you. So it says, "Thank you for coming." Charlotte's baby shower. It's got the date. It says, make a wish for baby. Tie this bracelet on your wrist. Close your eyes and make a wish. When the bracelet breaks in two, the wish you made may soon come true. Now, I don't know if we can see that, but it's got two little feet on there. It's the little baby feet. It's like a little bracelet or necklace or something. Bracelet. It's a little bracelet that you wear. It's so cute. Yeah. And we made some. We had like a game. You had to um. You had to guess was it a a bia belly or a pregnant belly? The photographs. Um, I think I got about nine out of sixteen. Uh, right. And that you won a little prize at the end. So. Yeah. So that was good. But, Indeed. Uh, she doesn't know as yet whether she guessed right with the sex. Just one moment, Georgia, don't do that in here, please. No nail varnish. No, I don't want to be smelling that in here. Go and do it in your own room. Okay, She's, okay. Georgia's just come waltzing through, sat in the bed and started doing her nails. No, your bedroom. <laughs> I don't want the fumes in here. Okay, I'll wait then. Um, no, she, she doesn't, it's her first baby, so she doesn't want to know. She wants a surprise, but um, mm. I think there was two of her. Three of were wearing pink. Everyone else was wearing blue, so... Mm, didn't mean to see you wrong, though. Just going to have to wait and see. I would wear blue. Would you? You think she's having a boy? I don't... I don't know. I'd, uh... I'd wear green. I think she's going to have a lizard. <laughs> this stupid. But overall, lovely, lovely day. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Good. And... You did look beautiful on that top. Oh, thank you. And lots of, uh, oh, thank you, everyone. That's really nice. It made us feel so much better that you've said I look nice in it. Yeah, loads of people are complimenting on you. Complimenting yeah. you on it. I'm just self conscious in my top. Yeah. Yeah. Am I allowed to read some of the questions? Um, I remember the top because to open them because some of them I've had to put the extra details into the notes like the. Yeah, so that's the first part of it. Then it goes into there. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Uh, I see. So these ones are all from Kelly Cockcroft. Yeah, Kelly Cockcroft. She sent us a load of questions. <laughs> so we'll, yeah. we'll get them all out of the way today. So <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Kelly, for sending those. So the first one is, does Georgia get pocket money? And if so, how do you decide how much to give her? Does she get a set amount or so much per job she does, etc.? Are there things you no longer provide for her because she is expected to spend her money on them? Um, where do I? We just go through question by question then. And she says, I have a son a year younger than Georgia and I often wonder if I give him enough or too mm. much. So, um... Well, she doesn't really get pocket money, does it's she? such, no. no she... Um, because, say, if we're out and about and she sees something that she likes, she doesn't always get it. But if we've got the money, then if we can, you know, yeah. we can afford it and we'll buy we'll it for her. So yeah. it's, it's not like a, a pocket money thing. But she, she, she gets stuff in other ways. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and she gets, gets pocket money off your yeah, yeah, off grandma off, and granddad. Yeah, off my mum and dad. Mm -hmm. um, my mum's got like a savings account for her, which she puts in Georgia's bank, which she can get money out herself. So she's got her own money to spend and on plus, things. Plus she gets some again in her pocket as well. Like she gets money each week. 
a tip out to the bank money, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and she gets me dad gives her pocket money. So my dad will give her a fiver a week. And what I do, I just put it in a pot. And if she wants to buy something, if she's got 20 or 30 quid there, she can take it out of the pot. It was hella um, Yeah, I always forget to laugh, put it in the pot. Yeah, well, that's good. Because if you know you've got it, you'll spend it. She saves it up. Um, I found it out with like loads of money and it's mm-hmm. not another day. But one thing that I sometimes make up here for, which I never used to, makeup. Um, she buys her own makeup. Um, or sometimes if I buy makeup, we'll share it and things. Um, is what what I what we decided a while ago is that she pays for shampoo and conditioner. Yes. Which at first I felt bad for because I thought should she really be paying for it but then the reason that she does buy it is that she uses so much. I use too much. Yeah. So I don't should admit I could, it. So I could buy a bottle of shampoo and within two days it could be gone. Not two. Sometimes. Good. Maybe if I like leave a couple and of days without washing, washing my hair. One day she used three quarters of the bottle in one wash. So that was my reasoning for saying to her, if you do that in the future, then you're like, going to pay for your own. So whether that's cruel or not, I don't know. You can say whether you think that is or not, but that was what I decided. I don't always make a pay for it, but sometimes I will take the money off her if I think that um, she is using the lot. I've used a bit too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, don't. Uh, so, no, yeah, she, probably. She, she gets, gets pocket money off the grandparents. Yeah. And offers she gets stuff in other ways. Yeah, you just, like, if you see a pair of shoes or if you like something. Like a top bar. Then it will mm. just buy it for you. So, um, not every week, but. Now and then. Now and then. Yes. Uh, right. So. Just the next one here. My head's a bit. Right, right George is going to read this question. <coughs> clear, clear as possible. Have any of you ever seen a medium? If so, did they tell you anything that came true or give you a message that you believe to be from a loved one? I've seen um, two, I think. Yes, I think two. I've never seen them. And then we went, we used to go to the... I was going to get onto that, yeah. Spiritualist church. So did anything, the two you've seen anything come from that? Um, she did, she did tell us that the person that I was with at the time wasn't the one for me. Which at the time was just before I was getting married, so that was a little bit worrying. <laughs> um, and said that uh, there was a dark-haired fella, um, that I would end up with, but at the time didn't think anything of it because it was a best man. <laughs> obviously, obviously, I was just about to get married. Yeah. Um. The other one that I seen, I don't know. Felt as if they were trying to get answers out of us. So that one wasn't wasn't the best mm. one that I that I went to. Uh, I pers- well, we did actually go to local spiritualist church when it was going. Um, actually took a friend of ours as well, and she. I'm trying to remember, she got messages, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't remember if, if she. I could accept them, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think she did. Yeah, I can't. Did you get messages from there? No. No, I don't think I'd. Or did I? My cousin did. Did I not? Oh, I, can't, I can't remember. It's that long ago now. Uh, but we, yeah, I went to the local spiritualist churches. Uh, but I've never actually been to see a medium, like in a private setting. But I do know few mediums who go into the spiritualist church. I actually know them personally and I've had like things given to us off them 
which I've actually got things put away, post um, paintings that have been done first and things like that and handwritten stuff. Um, but I can't remember off the top of my head if I've ever had anything that I went, oh yes, that's that's right. Um, I know my brother went to see a medium, uh, a lady called Mrs. Gospel, who was very well known and respected in the medium circles in the northeast of England. And he got stuff of her that she could not have possibly known. Stuff about the family. She was coming out with um, specific names and all sorts of things. You know, about things that she could poss not possibly have known. She didn't know who, who he was. She's not a friend of the family. Anything like that. She lived, she lived about 10 mile away from him. Um, so, yeah, he got stuff and he was quite chuffed about yeah. So, yes. Next one. Does Georgia want to read the next one? No, I'm going to read the one after that. Oh, we're going in order. No. <laughs> this is the one I'm, I'm looking forward to. This, this, is, for... this, is, this is where, this is where the, uh, the clip could get a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite subject. I've got an answer for this as okay. well. Um, Steve, do you believe in ghosts? as opposed to just being interested in the paranormal? And have you ever seen or recorded anything that you think is evidence of their existence? Get a cup of coffee. <laughs> yes, make yourself comfortable. Get a cup of coffee and a box of popcorn. <laughs> yes, I 100% believe in them. Um, uh, I've always been sort of like open-minded. Yeah, there are things, you know, like when you see almost haunted, you see the orbs, which are just dust. You know, things like that. Little microscopic insects, all sorts of things. Uh, but I have actually seen one. Uh, when I worked at the call centre, even though it was in a, a modern call centre, which was only pff, about a year old, this call centre. And it's, the land it's on is just all mining land, so it wasn't even houses before that. Um, yes? Well, no, that's okay. All right. And... I was sitting between calls, just minding my own business, just looking around, uh, sort of watching the, the girl two seats away, because the seats were like in a, in a curved sort of arch, you know, uh, watching her take her call. Then this old woman just appeared behind her, but not solid, not faint, though, but strange. You could see everything she was wearing. But she was see through, it was like what's the word, like translucent or something like that. And I could see me manager walk was backwards and forwards behind her and all sorts of stuff. And it, it didn't feel weird, it didn't feel scary, anything like that. It was just felt natural. I'm like, look at her. Oh, there's an old old woman standing there and I can see through her. And I thought, I looked down the other end of the call centre, so I like refocused my eyes in different distances and looked back and she was still there, you know. And she was just standing watching a colleague take calls. Um, so yes, I can. I one hundred percent believe in them. After seeing that, and that's actually what got me going back to the going to, going to the spiritualist church, you know, because I've I've always been interested in that sort of thing. And some people find it spooky, but the more I've learned about it, the less scared I am of that sort of thing. Um, when I done one of the ghost hunts, although I didn't see this evidence, and I I'll never ever see this evidence, and I'm gutted about it. I was up in the haunted house in York. We were there was me and this other guy we were right up in the attic. Sat up there by ourselves, total pitch black. He had a thermal imager. Um in his hand a little flare imager. And I was sort of sat there and I've I've always been quite good at sort of like feeling I suppose you can call it auras. Like I can sort of like it's it's a weird thing. It's hard to explain where you can feel the aura and somebody's like a sort of spongy, bouncy sort of like field around people. Um, it's a bit hard to explain, but uh, I was sort of sat there and I could feel this because the house has reportedly got a bo little boy and a girl run about the house on the different levels. And I could feel I was like resting my hand on top of something, but there was nothing there. And I could I sort of ran my hand around the shape of it. And he was, my colleague was saying, looking at him, he says, I can see it on the floor. He says, you, exactly where you're running your hand, I can see the shape. 
Um, but what happened was like his son went and wiped the SD card <laughs> and then before he had a chance to send us the evidence because he had he had the whole night's stuff recorded on it. So um, he was going to send us the files and his son went and wiped over the SD card. So I never got it. So I'm absolutely gutted about that. Um, so I'll never know. Well, I believe he was telling the truth because he was he was adamant on the dice. I can see it definitely, you know, but I never actually got to see it myself. So, um, but there's all sorts of things, you know, like okay. you've seen like the spiritualist church that like smoky, misty thing that time. Yeah, that was strange. Um, you know, going in between the chairs. It was when they were talking to a friend, and uh, was it a mum or a dad had just. My dad had just passed away mm-hmm. and the lady was saying about them being together again and that and all of a sudden like these two it was more like feathers like two sort of white feathery things sort of just came and went through like past me and her like past my shoulder and I can't explain like the feeling at the time you just but welled I, up, didn't you? I wanted to sob my heart out. It was like a, it was a strange feeling. Nobody else it? seen this. I didn't no. see this, and I'm normally quite and clued uh, up. My like friend that, didn't. It, it was just me that that seen it. As if someone had like went through you, like one like past. two sort of like feathery things. But I, I mean, I don't know whether I, I believe or not. But I, I did. I know what I saw, and I know how I felt after. And I, I was trying to explain to my friend and you, wasn't it? And I, mm-hmm. I, just, I couldn't stop crying. It was just like, a, I was like overwhelmed. Like, a, it was a nice feeling, but I wanted to yeah. cry. Well, it was a, like, love and joy type of thing. It was like a, a, like a happy, but it was really hard to explain at the time. Yeah. Mm. I, I so. remember once I was downstairs here, so when we had the chairs the other way, where the settee is now, we had the had the single chair there towards the window and I was sitting and I was on the phone to somebody with the phone to me yeah like this and the walls here you know so um we were joking on about something and we laughed and somebody laughed in my other ear and it, it was weird now what was that? It was like somebody laughed in my, in my ear on the opposite side to where the phone was. You know, right, that person laughed and that person laughed. Yeah, it was like somebody laughed with us that was right beside us, but there was nobody there. So you know, we just scare the crap out of me. I bet I'm not living here anymore. <laughs> There's all sorts of little, little weird things. Yeah, well, but what you can't really explain. Yeah, things I can't really explain. And Georgia, even though she can't remember this, was actually in this, oh, yeah. in this room. Right here where this bed is and where the TV is in the corner there. She was, God, how old was she? She was only... Just talking. Just talking, but um, I think she was on the bed with Denise. So she was only like a little, would you be classed as a toddler or still a baby? Mm-hmm, just a toddler. toddler. Um, and she just started laughing. And like pointing towards the corner and, you know, what's the matter? She was a, a man's dancing. Yeah, it's standing. Was it dancing? I can't remember. I know, she just said, said the man, I'm laughing at the man standing in the corner. I was, I was freaked out. I was like, yeah, do you mean that man? It was the, the man standing in the corner. And was, you know. it, was in the, it was in the pitch black. I was trying to get out of sleep. Yeah. Was it not like an old man though? Like yeah. a... But, but, this is the weird thing. I was going through some old photos and I found a photo of my nana, my nana and my granda and she pointed to my granda She'd never seen the photo before and she's never met him before because di- she died when I was six. And she pointed to him and said that she'd seen him before. Uh, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. I've heard stuff in the haunted house as well. Like going up the stairs, I remember someone running past us. It said you saw the. Uh, I saw like a little, a little girl, girl or a little boy. Yes. I'm sure it was a little boy or a little girl that ran past us. Yes, yes, you did. I remember I, on, the, on the stairs. I remember you went in front of us, or either mum was in front of us and somebody was behind us. No, it would have been me in front of you, Stuart. And I thought, how can, <laughs> how can somebody, like a little kid, run past when it's like a narrow Yeah, it is. It's really narrow the staircase. How yeah. can somebody run past us, like, like a little kid? Yeah. And then I felt like when I was sitting in one room, I felt like I could say somewhere like, 
move in the hand near a, near a chair or something. Yeah. Well, it's difficult in that room because it's pitch black because the eyes will be playing trick on in that room where you think you've seen something. I don't something know if it was my mind, like, yeah, playing, might or... have been. Mm. But that, that she's just reminded me the time the same haunted house was on the bottom corridor and there was a door, it's like a glass door, but it's like a curtain, there was a net curtain or something up at the door. And behind that's just the alleyway and then a wall, a brick wall at the time. And and that alleyway is actually was blocked off to the public. There's nobody there. And we were standing there. There was you, me, and these two women, I submit, uh, or f who we didn't know they were on, and, like going around with her. And I'd just seen a little girl just run past the window at speed, but going so far. Even you go on the outside, she would have ran face first into the wall. But there was nowhere for it. There was nowhere to, for it to no, run. There's no door to enter that bit and no door to actually come out no, of it. And that part's closed off to the public and she, this girl just ran past the this window. This is basically a wall, yeah, both so, sides. Uh -huh. So that was, a, that was a weird thing as well. And I, I sort of recorded that in the in the visitor's book and everything. But yes, I forgot the question I was in. Thing. Yes, so that, that's, yes, I believe in that, and that I have seen things. I do a little bit, but so. not more. I know people that don't, there's loads of people that don't, you know, there's loads of things that can be explained away, but there's also loads of things that can't be explained. Yeah. It's like that movie, Paranormal Activity and that. Yeah, so. I'm loving. Yeah. I know about the next. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, told you you needed a popcorn for that one. Yeah. Um, I know yeah. about the next question is, so. Hey. There you go. Kelly yeah. says, what the heck is peas pudding? <laughs> Peas pudding is to the litter. Right. Peas that, pudding is like a pasty stuff that you put on sandwiches Ooh. with ham or you can have it on with salad. And that's pretty much what it looks like. It's like a sort of light browny beigey colour. What to come out as he takes it. Um we'll but <laughs> you can you can make it at home. because uh, your mum and dad make it, don't they? occasionally mm -hmm. but i absolutely love it and you can get it with if you know what a saveloy is it's like a sausage you can get it at some sandwich shops saveloy sandwiches saveloy and peas pudding is absolutely to die for you can it have it with like made. ham yeah ham looks nice with ham water. it's made with yellow split peas yeah yellow split That's peas basically water salt pepper You've got to soak them or something like that. There's, Basically mush yeah. it up. But you can make it yourself, yeah. but I love it. It's cheap enough. If you can get it at your supermarket, it's what the part where it's at. You can it's get where it where they from, have all the hams and the... You can get it from Aldi. Yeah, mm -hmm. Aldi. Aldi. Yeah. On the, on the, in the chiller cabinets, peas pudding. Try it and have it with some ham or something. Yeah. In a stotty. In a stotty. Well, yeah, they might not have stotties in Manchester. Stotties are big, like, in Newcastle, it's a big, like, round loaf, flat loaf. Mm -hmm. Stotty bread, great for sandwiches. Mm. Right. And Kelly's last question, I think. Um, do any of you ever remember your dreams? If so, what is the weird, weirdest or scariest dream you can remember having? I, I know, know my... what your scariest mm -hmm. one is. I know. I know mine. <laughs> What's yours first? When, was when I when I, I saw things in different places. With a little girl and the cats and nothing outside and everything. But you look, I looked out the car flap and I saw this like white man lying on the floor and the like on a on a towel thing in the pitch black. And then I came downstairs and I like hid behind the set with with human mom and then like for some reason there was this little girl and she just like looked up at us and went and like smiled at us. And I, I think I ran out and went ran outside and it was like daytime and I don't know if Frank no Costa came out and he said it'll be okay it was and I was like why is my cat talking to us <laughs> my cat's talking to us and then my neighbour this little boy came up to us and went <laughs> like in this yesterday so I was like what the it's a bit back to front <laughs> so right. yes you do remember that dream and you I was like why <laughs> mine yeah this was you were having one the other night because you were whimpering in your sleep was that mm -hmm. I have um, horrible dreams. Man. This was when I was in my twenties, and I still remember it. It was as if I was on holiday in a house, but the house was just all windows on the bottom. And I was there with, at the what was at the time, my boyfriend. 
and all of a sudden just all of these bikers hundreds of them turned up outside of this house and wanted to be in just revving their bikes and revving and I, they just wouldn't go away and they were trying to get in and when I woke up it took us ages to get back to sleep I was so scared it was like as if they were actually outside my house and I just I couldn't settle couldn't settle for hours after that you know, but that was my probably my scariest one mm. I've got well, I've got there's two two scary ones one from when I was a kid and one the you know about but there was a weird one as well I always remember from where the school I used to go to in the middle school the, the train tracks were near it and um on them trains the electric trains that were got the the rapid transit system thing um inside there's just a small cab or a driver's cab but uh, next to it the seat you, so you're pretty much standing right at the front and I remember going stand at the front like all oh, the kids that you do stand at the front and we going along that part of the track and I've seen a, this Alsatian running along the track in front of the train then just sort of like disappear under the train and it was like I, I was really upset about it you know it's, uh, it was horrible and another one when in my old house where we used to live with my parents um, I used to wake up and cry my eyes out I was, I was scared and hiding under the covers and things because uh, we had a, a built-in boot cupboard it was like built into the alcove in the corner um, our, this so pretty much made me afraid of the dark when I was a kid and uh, I'd leave the light on you know it's, um, then all of a sudden the, the light would go it would not it wouldn't go off to dark it would sort of go to like a brown like a dull light it was there, like a brownish sort of thing and in the corner, I'd see the cover door slowly opening. It was very slowly in the dark and in the, in the shadows. And all of a sudden, this, this sort of silhouette of a person would come out of the cupboard and just start walking towards us slowly. That's a dream. Yeah. Then I, I would I would wake up and my covers would be off the bed and all sorts of things. And uh, I wouldn't be able to get back to sleep. I was like terrified. I'd be shaking. Or I'd go to the top of the stairs. Oh, I remember once I had a dream about the Daleks attacking us. <laughs> uh, sat, sat at the top of the stairs crying my eyes out <laughs> my dad I've had a bad dream about the Daleks they wanted to attack the Daleks are talking me yeah but yeah. the other one Denise remembers Um, it's actually in the bed this exact where I'm lying now oh, battery warning uh, where I'm lying now and somebody climbed on top of us we're lying there and just all of a sudden I felt somebody on top of us and when I looked, I just had this face right in my face, like in these horrible, like evil eyes, like right in front of us, and like trying to get to us. And I was like fighting them off, wasn't it? And mm -hmm. well, he woke us up because you were up. screaming and going like this, trying to get them off you, but he was dreaming. Uh, oh, God, it took ages to get to sleep after that. It was like a night terror type of thing. It was horrible. Oh, I can remember another one of mine. Uh, it'll have to be quick because the battery's nearly dead. I remember when I was, I woke, I woke up feeling like something that like was like heavy on top of us, and I can remember having a dream that like this woman was walking along the street, and I was walking like opposite her, and she had this like big massive dog, and he basically like ran up, the dog ran up to us, pushed us over onto my back, and like sat near my head. But then, like, sat on top of my body, but then when I woke up, I felt like it, something was, like, s on sat on top of us, and I couldn't move, and I was trying to move, and it felt weird, because it felt like there was, like, something on us. That wasn't that long ago. Hi, yeah, because I remember you telling us. Yeah, hmm. Are that all the questions? Uh, yes, I think so. I'm sorry if I've missed any, or if anybody else has asked anything. I'll have to check back. Okay. Well... The question I thought of for them, for you guys, you, yeah, <laughs> is along the lines of what Kelly's asked. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen any? Um, have you had any paranormal experiences? If so, tell us what they are in the comments below. It'd be great to hear. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Just, yo <laughs> just yawn into the microphone. I'm right, just yawning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just. Uh, let us know anything, if you've seen ghosts, if you're a believer or non-believer, 
had any weird, weird paranormal weird. experiences, but you can't explain anything like that. Um, it'd be really interesting. Yeah. Okay. But for what for what I didn't have any footage. Uh, it was thirty one minutes. Yes, I think we'll better get going. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did say it, but make yourself comfy. <laughs> yeah, but thanks for those questions. Keep them coming. Any questions whatsoever. Really, really enjoy doing these. But um, hope your week's going well. She's still yawning. Hope your week's going well. And yeah, we'll catch up with you tomorrow or the weekend, whichever. But thanks for popping by. Bye. 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 <laughs>